Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today on this fantastic Friday? How are we doing? Personally for me, I'm doing, I'm doing really well. I'm super excited for what we got today. We got, I believe, three tracks that we got to show? No. Two. Yeah, we got two, um, because the other track that I implemented was, uh, this track that we're hearing, uh, Blue Orchids Remix. But, I will show some of the tracks that I have for the jukebox, because those are interesting. I just gotta remember what they are first, because I haven't written them down anywhere yet. But yeah, so, the plan for today is, we're gonna go over the new tracks first, and then afterwards, we're going to look over some of the tracks that I've done for the entire soundtrack. We're going to do some of the more uh, mainstream ones. We're going to do stuff like uh, Dolphin's Dance. We're going to do like Lakes of Lava. We're going to do Minecraft Reimagined. We're going to do... We're going to just look over everything. I'm going to break down everything uh, to the best of my ability. Um, and then maybe afterwards, I'll sneak, I'll sneak peek a project that I've been working on for the past two years now. Welcome, MJ. Welcome. Using the hype emotes. I love the emotes so much. I still can't get over that. But yeah, here. Um... Play this one. But yeah, so that's the plan for today. It's gonna be it's it's gonna be a an, a journey. Um and we're gonna take a break for Yeah, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a small break in between. Um I'm gonna stop the stream temporarily because I need to go quickly do something. And then when we come back, we will hop on Metal SP. They came out so good. I agree. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so without further ado, I think we are ready to actually jump into the actual action. I'm going to show off a track that I've been working on for the past week or so. Something that I don't know if I showed off last stream or not. Uh, but we will see. So, hang on, let's quickly swap over views. Alright, awesome. So I have the project file here. And this is um this is one that I like put all my uh, random like melodies into, or like all any ideas that I have. But it just so happened to be that I put I started writing an entire song in here, so now it's just here. <laughs> um, and this um. This one in particular is going down into the dark sections of the caves. Uh, it's called "I've Been Here Before," and it's originally going to uh be reminiscent of something like uh the Warden's Den, or something like um. Or something like what's it called um like the darker areas like the deep dark but who knows if if i ever if uh the wild the if the wild update ever gets like a resource pack uh like with music in it this song will go in there but for now it's going into uh just a random slot for the caves uh specifically so without further ado let's go ahead and let's hear this Welcome, welcome. We're looking over some music for uh, Minecraft Imagine. This is new music that is that's just been put into the resource pack. And hopefully I can get it released by the end of next week. That's the plan. Thank you. 
What does a reverb mean? Uh, here, okay. Give me a quick second to uh, finish this track and then we can go over that. All right, so that's the track. So what reverb is, um, is think of think of a room size. So you got like a room like this, and think of how the volume uh, sort of bounces off the walls to give it the sense of depth. To like sort of give your brain the idea of like, oh yeah, this is how big the room is. Now compare that to if you were to. So compare yourself like speaking in a regular room like this to speaking in a room like the size of a theater, the size of a um like cathedral almost. So that, and then just hearing it bounce so far off the walls. So you're hanging on. What's the track with reverb? Yeah, it's it's echo in a way. Actually, yeah. Yeah, we could say that's echo. Um, are there any good tracks here with reverb on them? I don't know if there are. Um, this one does, but I don't think this is... Well, here, hang on. Let's, let's, let's try this. I don't know what this is. I think this is the... Uh, kick drum here wait yeah okay so right here we have it set to the room uh, a room as big as a concert hall so you can sort of hear that uh, you can hear the empty space versus if we just you can hear the definite difference of uh, like the room like being nothing versus being incredibly big. And we can do that with a bunch of different uh, like sizes. So we can do like, we can put the sound like in something similar to a canyon. And you can hear how the sound just keeps going and going because like when you picture canyon, you just think infinite, um, like infinite walls just stretching down. Like there's nothing for the sound to bounce off of and it just keeps going and going. So that's sort of the that's sort of the idea of reverb of um just reverberating the sound um and carrying it out farther than um like its original source is. Cuz if it was just it was, if it was just the drum itself, it's pretty boring. And it's pretty, it sounds very two dimensional. Like this isn't interesting. It's just, it's just a drum. Versus if you put on the reverb, it gives it more, more depth. It gives it more, uh, more character. And that's really what all these do. So like turning up certain frequencies also gives a character. Limiting it uh, in certain areas also gives a character. Well, that just that makes sure you don't blow out the speakers. But yeah, so that's what reverb is. Um, I like to think that I'm pretty proud of this track, just from where it is. So that's the main, this is the main melody of the song right here. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's definitely, um, it's, how do I put this? You can't easily repeat it, which is why it doesn't like, which is why you, you don't see it like again right after. It just sort of stands on its own, which also makes sense over here. It's just, it's just tuned up, I think. Yeah, so it's like, we bring the melody up a few, uh, a few notes. But by far, I think the probably my favorite part of the track is this intro right here. Just this section right here. And just how it flows.
it's just it's just so many sounds happening at once and it's so nice to hear the transition What was that sound? That's the sound of something glitching out, which it shouldn't do, but it does. What do you think of psychedelic music? I think it's very interesting. It's personally, it's not my cup of tea, but I, the people that do enjoy it, uh, I, I, I just like you. You can like whatever music you like. Per personally, it's just not my my cup of tea. It's very interesting to listen to. I will say that a very interesting arrangement of sounds. Wow, thank you, Fran. <laughs> thank you, Fran, for that. Because I definitely need to know that. Let's get introduced to it. I agree that it's interesting. I don't know what to think about it. You have to sort of have a, like, you have to have that taste in music for it. Which, uh, it's it's sort of, it's sort of like a very specific taste. Here, and then we have the transitions, uh, which flow pretty well. She found the ducks? Oh, I bet she did. Is this, is this my instrument? Okay, so yeah, this is, this is my custom, uh, bass. <laughs> oh my gosh. I see this is just the status of chat now. Actually, I do want to talk about this percussion because the percussion is actually very interesting. I had no idea where I wanted to take this, but the fact that it's just that it just works is amazing. The, the kick drum, I was perfectly fine with, but it was the snare right here. Yeah, let's turn off all these. Um, if it ever decides to open them. Because then we can hear what the original instrument sounded like. So the original instrument was just this. I'm sorry, hello? Are you going to work? That was not it, I can tell you that. Here, let's close that down and then restart it. Jeez, that hurt my ears. I'm gonna fight the ducks. Why are you fighting ducks? So you can have Taco Bell sound. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's actually a really interesting idea. Just throw the Taco Bell sound into a uh, into a random song, and then just see how everyone reacts. Just the just the iconic talk about ding. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting that. It glitched out and I actually clicked something I I, uh, I wasn't supposed to. It's fine. Alright, anyway, back to what we were doing. Go bypass all these, just turn them off for now. I think my percentage may come down. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. You won. You fought the you fought the ducks and you won. So this is this is what this is what it just sounded like. Nothing too special. Here we can we can put this on loop. Exactly, just a clap. And so then, well, what I did was I took some of those higher frequencies and just turned them up. Oh, yeah, I've been here. I've just been playing Genshin. Well, thank you so much for lurking, Nikki. That really does mean a lot to me. After that, we added the filter. So. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Wasn't paying any attention to them. 
And so I slowly walked forward with Mike and then she was following me and then the ducks suddenly moved and were swimming in the actual pool and she started going down the pool. Yeah. Oh my god. Willow? [laughs] Yes. [laughs] Willow's afraid of ducks, confirmed. [laughs] So, I went and I caught the ducks and I am totally ready to go. [laughs] But I am not. Okay. [laughs] [noise] You gonna put on your resume? I can't. [laughs] [laughs] I'm a professional duck swimmer. [laughs] [laughs] All right then. [inaudible 1:28:42.93] Ladies and gentlemen, that is Francesca. I'm so famous they can't take me. [laughs] [inaudible 1:28:47.53] Well, thank you. Chancey, you're the Yeah. [laughs] [laughs] Your Santa approved. Ah, Nikki, even even Santa approved. That's good. That's good. [laughs] Yeah, so after we put on the uh after we like brought the higher frequencies up, um the filter really just came randomly. But it's it works really well. [noise] But it's not it doesn't hold long enough. So we've re- so I brought in the reverb. [noise] And it's just it it just has a really nice sound to it. Thank you for notifying everyone, Fran. Thank thank you so much for your for your information. [laughs] [noise] Okay, actually I'm gonna start heating up the um the chicken stock. Yeah, so I'm gonna prepare the thyme. [noise] I thought you're gonna do this. Everything from this point on, I don't even know what measure it is. Is it like right is it on a measure? Should be on a measure. Okay, so measure four hundred fifty on. Everything is pretty much just this. Stop, 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 stop. But up uh up a few notes. [noise] So this is this is just a few notes up from what this is. All right. [noise] Um. Hmm. So yeah, so I'm gonna do like that. [noise] That's probably good enough. Yeah, just manually break it. Just manually break it. Ooh. Brie. Where'd you put the knife? Oh in, right in the sink. Why? But there's no need for that. Well I asked you guys if you need anything. Well. Okay. [laughs] No, I just forgot. We have our bowls. Are we almost at the bowls? I guess we could like do the bowl first, and then save it for later. I guess, yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, baste that chicken. Hm we could do that. Dude, yeah. Oh yeah. Can you put the cutting board in? We got it. Can you um hold the knife? And a knife? And try to swipe it all, yeah. My hands got a bit Can you, uh, move the thing? Cuz Chan [inaudible 1:00:23.50] Just get a towel first. That thing's really hot. No, it's working. I know, but it's just under direct heat, so I'm just saying. It's fine. We just wanna lightly s- fry the garlic. [noise] I should have prepped more. You don't say. Where'd you put the oil? Are you just starting at this point? Oh right, it's right back there. Huh? Are you just starting at this point? Oh. I could. It doesn't need more. It doesn't need more. But I'll help. [inaudible 1:00:56.23] It's gonna soak it up. Oh, here, I'll write it out for you. [inaudible 1:00:58.31] you can just say it. But get a, just get a thingamajig. Hold on. Get a thingamajig. Here. Yeah, ask Chancey where his thingamajig is. All right. Cuz like, I'm not sure if the other people need it. Cuz I don't think Ibs has been over in a while. Oh. Okay. [inaudible 1:01:06.91] Try um some cooking utensils. Hey Chancey, where are your cooking utensils? That's enough lemon juice for now, otherwise No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Thanks, dude. I know, I know. Just add one half for now though, cuz I'm gonna toss it. [noise] Don't toss it. Who are you gonna be? Um The next few minutes are ready for cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. K. Uh Oh, thanks. Gor- Gordon Ramsay. It's raw! [laughs] [laughs] Thanks Don. So, I'll grab me a knife [inaudible 1:01:43.95]. One sec. Mine's pretty medium. [noise] Jen only has one knife you guys have to share it. [laughs] [laughs] What? That's weird. Is that real? For real? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't have any sauce for the steak here guys. Oh, I'm okay without a seasoning. You okay? Okay. Yeah. Really, only one knife? [laughs] [inaudible 1:01:53.65] [laughs] Okay. One knife to rule them all. Um You can really tell she doesn't cook. Or just not steaks. Other things. Mm. Oh yeah, that's true as well. I guess, I guess you could just reuse You know what, oh hang on. Like roasted vegables and stuff. This'll be good. L- is it in th- is this salty enough Jimmy, or no? I'm gonna see if I can find it. [noise] You try you try it yet, or What? No, I didn't try it yet. We should look under the micawave. I hear there might be some uh knives here. Like, over here. Okay. Yeah. [noise] Oh, where is she? Like a whole roll of them. Is there some? Yeah, grab grab a bunch of those. [noise] That's more Or [noise] You know why It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, you know why it's hard to tell. How many do we ne- oh, okay. One more? Yeah. It should be a little bit more red, but it's, yeah. Yeah, it's the cut of meat too, so yeah. Oh, thank you. It's, yeah. It's [inaudible 1:02:58.25] Those are done. [noise] Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lemme just touch it a little bit. Here, I'll move with, I got one. Oh, oh sorry. [laughs] He just stole his. [laughs] Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That feels so good. Good? Perfect. Yeah, looks great. [noise] Yeah, that looks good to me. That feel good? Yeah, it feels really good. I'm sorry. [laughs] Oops. [noise] I mean I guess it's on, yeah. [noise] Doesn't really matter at all. Your hair's all like staticy now. Really? Great. Beautiful. Oh, cheesy. I like to eat this separate. And then I'm gonna do the same. Oh wow, thank you. Here you are. Oh, you're welcome [noise] Don't worry, eat it. [noise] He does it like that. Just ignore him. I What do you do that for? Cuz I can stuff more in. [laughs] [laughs] I'm actually gonna do it too. Interesting. I like the f- soft bread. What are these buns? They're like uh Well, here's your Starts with a B or something. Inside the bun. [laughs] Sure, whatever you want. Oh yeah, you could flatten that in there. Oh yeah, of course I will. I just checked theirs so, yeah. [noise] Oh, Superstore. Uh, yeah. They actually make a lot of buns. Yeah? They're starting at like ten bucks a pound. Yeah. Really? That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Really? That's crazy. It's crazy how much food we have. [laughs] You think there's a lot of sausage? There's a lot. I mean, look how much there is. There's a lot. But that's not saying that there's not enough for us. Yeah. For sure. But maybe there's like four hundred people who would eat that. [laughs] Yeah, that's actually It's like a lot, right? They're alling about six bucks a pound? Six bucks a pound, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of food. [laughs] [noise] Oh, look at that. Oh, pretty sure Jason has a pretty good side. Pretty good. What do you want for dinner? Oh yeah, if I had three kids, I'd probably Uh, well done. Probably like, yeah, um I'd probably do like, the deli meat instead of the chicken, that's the way to go. Or I wouldn't have this burger. Yeah, I know, right? I think it'd be easier to eat, right? I would prefer this to go with the salad. [laughs] 
the Omnichord a caddy, or whatever it's called. Really nice sounding instrument. Yeah, absolutely really nice on the instrument. Drink your freaking water, all right? I drink my water. That, I don't know why. It's something about this instrument that's like, it pretty much made up the entire, no, it didn't, but it was pretty close to making up the entire uh, Minecraft Reimagined soundtrack. You know what instrument did make up the entire soundtrack? It's um this one, I believe? It's still soloed. Hang on. That should not be soloed. Yeah, this instrument is used a lot in the soundtrack. And then I was building something in here uh, with this melody, which we might look at later. Okay, back down you go to that. See, so yeah, that is um, the song, the track I've been here before. That's going to be in the final version. Um, once again, it's going. Hopefully, it can go into the 1.19 version because it fits the Warden's Den so much. It fits the whole um, like aesthetic of like being in the deep dark, and being um, and just being like somewhere where you're not familiar, but also like still have the the motivation to keep moving on. So that's sort of the motiva that that's that's that track. Um, we can go ahead and open up the next one that I was working on. I don't remember what it's called? Oh, it's called Clear Waters. That's right. Um, don't save. I don't think I did anything. Is Juicy here? Juicy's not here, I don't think. Yeah, Juicy should be at work, I think. Maybe she'll tune into the stream. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe on her break she'll tune into the stream, but I don't know. That That's all up to her if she wants to. But yeah, so this this track's Clear Waters. It's got no, um, like... <laughs> I was working on it last night. And that's pretty much the uh, the extent of it. So I don't even remember like what this sounds like. Because I'm going to get that variation of the overlay they sent. Ooh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll let her know. I will definitely let her know. Actually, you know what? She's. I think she said that she wants to watch the VOD. So maybe if she doesn't, she'll see this. <laughs> she'll, she'll see uh, your message. So don't worry. It'll, the message will get passed one way or another. But this is clear waters. It's going to be more cave music. And it's on the weirder side. I'm not even going to lie.
Thank you for lurking, Fran. Have fun in the VR. Don't break anything in the room. <laughs> I'm quiet like Jonah. Okay, this is true. We'll just run out of CPU power. That's interesting. Oh well. <laughs> we do. We just move on. I'm back though. Welcome back, Chris. Welcome back. We're looking at a track called Clear Waters. And it's also going to be for the cave systems uh, for 1.18. Right now, it definitely fits the caves. I agree. It's re it's really nice. The only part that I'm really that I'm really not set on is this section right here where the where the horns start coming in, or no, they're strings. My bad. I'm not too sold on that part, but overall, I think this sounds pretty nice. Has a really nice, um, like sort of, uh, yeah, like, like I said, uh, the, it fits the caves. Has those really nice, um, like you could say, like worldly sounds compared to some of the stuff that I've done before, um, where it's like a bunch of synths and a bunch of, uh, like sounds that you've never heard before. This one's very grounded in like earthly sounds. So we got. This, which sort of is just reminiscent of like the atmosphere, the the ambience. It just sort of gives you that perception of space with the reverb that it has on it. It, it gives you a sense of what you're looking at. And then we have uh, this instrument right here. Which is a Dreambria. Similar to uh, the Much Earth, Much Sound. <laughs> but yeah, I tried to ground it a lot in uh, in like the Earth sounds. So then we got like all these strings here. Um, this is actually a technique that I learned. Um, I forget where. But someone said never... Never put one string instrument in your uh in your tracks it'll just sound awful which i mean that's true having just one here just sounds boring i 
having multiple of them. And then messing with uh, like their volume levels. Creates this whole new world of um, like sounds and like clashing, I guess you could say. Because even though it's technically the same instrument, it's they're pitched, they're shifted in different ways. One thing that I did was I switched out the reverbs on most of them. So like this one has uh, like the longest reverb. This one has uh, like a bright uh, sound. So instead of it being sort of muffled, sort of like this, where it sounds very, uh, very close to earth almost, we have a more brighter sound where you're able to actually hear the notes properly. And we have this one, it's just a cathedral, but very subtle. And the same thing before the Bright Hall, it's just subtle. So a lot of it is just completely different mixture. And then I think this one, there's something different about this one. Oh yeah, that's right, more bass. And then, um, what was it? We got this instrument, which is pretty interesting because it's an instrument that I've never used. No, actually, take that back. This instrument is only used in, um, in the sky. It's called, uh, I believe, Divide and Conquer, if I'm correct. And it's, it's, it's a pretty intense, uh, set of drums. Cavern tube, noise, percussion, lumino piano, whatever that means, heavy plates. It's heavily, it's just heavy percussion. But it's it's a very uh, like war sounding instrument if you could if you could uh like if you yeah war sounding instrument because it's like the drums that you would hear for a uh, like in like a battle almost so that was a heavy inspiration for um or that was a heavy lean in for the percussion in a track based around this um earthly environment and then we have this instrument which I believe is also another like marimba. Or was it a hand pan? Might be a hand pan. It's a hand pan. Or hand drum. And then the only two bases that we have here are synths, just because they fill out the lower frequencies. I don't even remember what this is. It's called Bass in Love. I'm gonna be honest, I did not even know what this thing was called. And then this instrument we've heard before in, all, in a lot of the tracks as well. It's very iconic to the Minecraft Reimagined soundtrack. This is in, um, I'm trying to remember, what is it? I think, I think it's in, um, it's definitely in Ice and Fire. Definitely in, um, what's it? I think maybe Blue Orchids? I'm not entirely sure. No, yeah, it's in Blue Orchids. Um, it's in might be in a uh, dolphin's dance i'm not entirely sure but yeah so these three combined create a really nice uh like assortment of sounds and patterns these two are out of sync for each other on purpose 
very rarely will they line up on their beats, and that's when it actually strikes. But that's when, like, the good moments are. Okay, that got stuck for some reason. And then it... Oh... These, this heavy percussion fades away, this fades away, this fades away, and all that we're left with is a bass and the original starting sound. And that's the story of that. That is um, Clear Waters. I think it was inspired by a piece of concept art. Can I find that? I wonder if I can. It was probably on like one of the last, one of the more recent music streams that we've done. Let me find it because I know that it's somewhere here. Mm. I know if I saw it. I think it was called Clear Waters. That's why I saved it. Here, let's see. Will it show up? It does show up. So this is the piece of concept art that it was originally based off of. Um, and back then it had, it was, the track itself was drastically different from what, from what it is now. I think if I'm correct, the, there's parts of it still here somewhere. Yeah. It's all this right here. Which I forget what this was. We'll hear it. You know what? I think there's a problem here. I think this should probably be shifted down. Oh yeah, no, definitely that was a problem. What is this instrument? This should not be here. I don't even know where this goes. Down here? Okay, I yeah, know that's supposed to be down there. That was when I actually had no idea for what the shark was going to be. So I had like the weirdest like random stuff in here. Specifically this percussion. And then I just went through an assortment of uh, random sounds. And I... There's absolutely no explanation for why this uh, this exists. Uh, oh wait, no, I need that sound. That sounds actually important because I use it. But everything else can stay. So that's clear waters. Do those low key sound like a ringtone? They kind of do. Kind of does sound like a ringtone. But here, I think. Okay, so that's all that I had for this, for like the new tracks. I wanted to go over some of the old tracks um, because this is going to be the last uh, live stream of working on. Working on Minecraft Reimagined. So I want to make sure that. Um, or don't say if that track was fine as it was. I want to make sure that we go over most of the stuff because chances are I'm probably not going to go back over it again. Much like Champions of the Universe, we had our final live stream there. And then we moved on from the project. So this project is almost done. It's almost completely out of the way. Um, So yeah, the other track that's being implemented is the Blue Orchids remix, which we worked on last time. Oh, the fucking course together. Uh, sounds much pretty. It, uh, it does. A lot of it is just 
stuff like sounds good on its own. Like for example, this part right here. Um, this synth just works fine on its own. But of course, it could sound a lot better with all the other instruments. But yeah, anyway, so hang on. Let's let's just jump from the beginning of this track and let's listen through. So I know that we were I know that we worked on it last time. Hey Ghost, welcome. Welcome. How are you, Ghost? My favorite synth sound? It's probably my favorite synth sound as well. Just to hear like how well it responds to a melody. <laughs> it's just so cool. And then after this, I'm thinking we go to Minecraft Reimagined. Uh, just the title screen music, because that was absolutely fun to write. And I'll show the I'll show the inspiration for that track as well. Tizer! Welcome, Tizer! I also will say I love how this last instrument just like ping pongs back and forth between uh, the ears. It's just, it's just so nice, so nice and. Whew. Anyway, so I know that we I know that we pretty much wrote this entire thing on stream uh, last time, but I still want to kind of like just briefly go over it and like sort of the thought process behind it because now it's. It's pr it's pretty much it's it's finished. It's in the game. It's not in the game yet, but it's in the resource pack. Almost in the game. I just gotta upload the recent one. How is how is great? <laughs> is great good great? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, so we got the we got the main melody here, which plays on uh the kalimba, and then we got the. We got the dual melody right after, which it's it's just the melody itself, but pitched up a few notes and then syncopated, so it's not playing directly on each other. It's like but da 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 da, so it's on every. It pretty much just like alternates between which melody is playing. Okay, fiddle actually decided to load. Hang on, give it a second. It's got to actually think about what it wants to do. No, I forgot. I bought Bean Pals last night. I did too, Nikki. <laughs> I was on call with you uh, when we both bought it. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I bought it. It's just sort of there now. It's in my it's in my Steam library, just Bean Battles. <laughs> And then we got the bass here, which is pretty common. Uh, Phoenix Rising uh, and, uh, where is it? I think it's Richness. Are used a lot in the soundtrack. And then, of course, we already heard the uh, the main like uh, synth lead instrument, which I still love. It's an absolutely amazing uh, synth. 50 cents, so worth I agree. Definitely worth it. I haven't played it, but I assume that's worth it. Yeah, authentic 80s solo synth. 
Okay, I'm about to buy Dead by Daylight. Like, very, very tempted. Oh my goodness. Only, only if you like have like the the group to play with. I think we have a pretty good group. <laughs> Nikki's very base though. <laughs> I love it so much. It's an absolutely amazing sounding synth. And ah, it just I hope is I hope it's fun. <laughs> oh, lol. <laughs> it it will be fun if you have the right people to play with. I'm not even going to lie. Dead by Daylight can be fun. Um but yeah, so we got we got it bouncing on this melody. And then we got the reverb on it so that it sounds better. Although it just sounds boring. Yeah, not not fun. More fun. <laughs> I may have been too excited to hit the uh, hit sent too fast. That's fine. That's per that that makes perfect sense. <laughs> I do that all the time. It's it. You're not the only one. One thing that I really love is like how it ends. Like how this how this little lick ends. I, I just love it. I don't know why. Also, what was that? Oh, that's the auto dropping out. Okay. I was like, something's weird. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> and then what is this? We got richness, Phoenix rising, Two very common uh, bases that I pair together for a nice a, a nice ensemble of sounds, if you will. But yeah, not overall not that not that much different from uh, how the original sounds. It starts out with the ambient space piano, which we already uh, heard when we were looking at um, "I've Been Here Before." Actually, no, this shouldn't have reverb. Yeah, no, so the original version uh, doesn't have reverb, but the remix version does. have that uh, instrument come in with the Phoenix Rising. And pretty much just after that, it's just a rearrangement of what's already been brought up. What's this, what's this instrument? I forgot. That's right. I remember. I remember. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we've worked on. Uh, Blue Orchids is probably one of my favorite uh, like overworld tracks. Uh, up there with, um, what was it? What's it called? Um, Dolphins Dance. Which, actually, we'll look at... Okay, actually, I, I said that we were going to look at uh, Minecraft Reimagined first before we did... Um, what's it called? Before we did uh, anything else. So let's go do that. If I ever find it. Here it is. Uh, don't save now, because everything is pretty much fine. There are like three different songs in this one project file that we're loading up. <laughs> it's um, "Welcome to the Games" from Champ uh, Champions of the Universe. Um, it is the one minute version of <laughs> of "Welcome to the Games," and then we got Minecraft Reimagined. So they all are related to each other, and they all start somewhere around. They all start on a marker. So let's listen to Minecraft Reimagined first.
popcorn, tingle brain, much brain pleasing. <laughs> So that is title screen music, Minecraft Reimagined. It was originally uh, supposed to be used for, uh, I think I said this before, uh, a thing that my best friend and I were doing called uh, Creators Content Unite. And unfortunately it didn't really get past any more than the, uh, than like the idea stage, the concept uh, stage. So I just sort of rolled with it, completed the track and then used it as title screen music because I thought that it still fit. But yeah, definitely more, brain, more, more tingle brain and brain pleasing. But I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's track is just based off of this one right here. Sounds pretty much all the same instruments, except we brought in some more one, uh, some more. Uh, but where it started is actually very interesting. Cause it'll shock you how far this, the, like this, this idea has gone. Um, here, let's take this off and let's turn that on. It's literally just two sine waves. Literally like the purest form of sound, the most boring thing you could hear. And it just sounds like this. That's literally all that this track started out with. Just that. <laughs> and then we put on this uh this this echo. I'll be right back. Okay, MJ. We put on this echo and it just all of a sudden like adds so much more to it. And that's what I started out. Um, then we added this, uh, this like synth pad. I forget what it's called. Fizzy and clear. I don't think I would ever use this outside of this, uh, outside of this context. And then we have this one, which I forget what it's called. It's like Sandscape or something like that. Might be. No, Blizz Jaws. It originally was called uh, like a, or no, it is a soundscape. Um, that's why it's that's why it's titled the way it is. The problem was, this is one of the first tracks I ever wrote in Pro Tools, and I had no idea how to organize my my tracks and organize out my thing, organize out my instruments. So. Looking back at this, it is absolutely atrocious to uh, to like comprehend, which is why like this is different because this was this was added after. Technically, this was added after as well, but I just never got around to naming it. But like, O M N Bell uh, underscore Bell underscore sign, that just tells me that it was from Omnisphere and that it's a Bell sign. That's literally it. It's not telling me like what instrument it is. And the only reason why I name my instruments is so that down the road I can associate sounds with um. I can associate like sounds in my library with sounds down the line. So if I ever want to be like, oh, hey, I like that sound from like this track. Like, what was the name of it? Um, I can just easily recall the name and then um, put it back in because the name of the instrument track was the name of the actual instrument that I was using. So like for this one, it's a uh, blizz saws. Once again, a track that I never really would find myself using or an instrument that I'd never find myself using outside of this context. But it just fit really well. Same thing with this. I don't even know what the bass instrument is. It's probably one that I haven't touched before. Because I was using... Oh no, Krakow bass? Okay, never mind. I take that back. I have used that.
Yeah, so we have a lot of different uh, sounding instruments. We have a lot of um, instruments that I never would, once again, would, uh, are like iconic to the Champions of the Universe soundtrack just because that's how it was um, designed. It was designed to be um, like out of instruments that I would never find myself using. And it just happened that they all work together. This has the same thing going on as the uh, bell synth, where it's um, we had we just have an echo effect on it. Otherwise, it just sounds boring, or it just decides to break. And then wait for it. It's just like it does wonders. I don't know how or why, but it just does wonders. And then hearing it all together. Actually, no, the one minute version is a pretty good uh, example of what it all sounds like together. The one minute version was designed to be trailer music for uh, the tournament, but unfortunately, we didn't get around to it beyond the first trailer. So I just had music sitting here. <laughs> Oh, yikes, that is, that is incredibly ugly. But it was just the foundation work for what would later be like an entire Minecraft soundtrack where we start off with... Um, like the same like the same iconic instruments and the same melody and then we bring in something new and my goodness do I love this instrument and how it sounds I don't know how it does what it does but it has this really nice like clicky percussion with it And it's just, whoo, it's just so nice, so clean, absolutely amazing. And then we bring back the, the instrument from up here, um, but on that different, on that different melody as well. And then we bring in back this instrument, but with, um, a different chord progression. And then this one's interesting because I don't remember why exactly I pulled this in, but it just sort of happened. Same thing with the synth, same thing with the bass, uh, with the, the instrument at the very top. It's that echo effect. The echo effect is what really drives this melody. So yeah, that's what drives it. And then we have uh, these right here, which are pretty pretty standard for what I do. Once again, reverse symbol, knocking sound effect. I kid you not, these are just a secret like ingredient to my music. The knocking sound comes in all different kinds of sounds and shapes, but it, it's still there. Still very prominent. So that is Minecraft Reimagined. That is the, hang on, actually, let me rename this. 
the reason why I make remixes in the original project files is because I still want the same instruments and I still want the exact same sounds. I'm never gonna get those back. I'm never gonna get the exact sounds right. Um, because like even though like this EQ is here, and it tells it, and like I know like where I put the dots, I'm never gonna get it like directly on the point. So I always make sure. So in order just to make things easier on myself, I just write it beyond where the other track stops. So that's pretty iconic. Oh, this. I feel like this should be mentioned. So in every project file uh, before, I used to have a MIDI, like just a straight up MIDI, uh, like raw MIDI file of just me playing on the piano over here and just playing it into uh, playing it into uh, Pro Tools, seeing what comes up. Um, a lot of the Champions of the Universe uh, sound, a lot, yeah, a lot of the Champions of the Universe project files have this. It's some, it's here in some form. It was very, very. Uh, important to me that I had like an original melody idea on the um like in the project file so I had an idea on what I wanted to do and then from there I just pretty much slapped onto anything that I can so like this is pretty much just a copy of that you can tell by it being uh omnisphere pad like 04 this one's omnisphere pad 14 like it's pretty much the same thing but just with a different number at the end But yeah, so now that's that's the thing. That's always that's it's always going to be there in some form. It's always going to be like a small melody just written here, and then the rest of the track just sits on top of it. It's just I don't know. It, it's just something about like how I worked back then, um, and it's very interesting to see like how I've grown. Um, where is it? I was, we were gonna do dolphins dance next, and then we were gonna do um. Well, do we, we might not have time for another one after that because I'll need to go quickly end the stream do something and then come back for uh, meadow SMP stuff so where is it where is it there it is dolphins dance uh, don't save I'd rather not worry about losing all the progress or all, I'd rather not worry about messing up stuff alright so this is dolphins dance it mm, well I'll, I'll just play I'll just play and then I'll go into it
All right, so that that's that. I forget where this started. I think this started with this melody right here. That was a melody that, um, okay, actually, first off, this track is heavily inspired off of Lily Pads from uh, Subnautica Below Zero because I wanted something to, uh, I wanted a track using similar uh, sounding instruments to invoke that underwater feeling. This is an underwater track. I believe it's called Axolotl in the, uh, in the project file, or in the resource pack. There are three, did you know there are three water tracks? I did not know this until I had to go, like, looking for stuff. I had to go looking for like templates and uh, looking for like how to build it. And then all of a sudden it's just like, hey, there are like 50 tracks here. I was like, where did all these come from? All I remember is the Minecraft and the, the Minecraft Alpha and Beta albums. And then the Nether one that just came out. Where did all these tracks come from? This this can't be. So I decided that this will be the one and only uh, water track. It just fits really well. Um, And then pairing that with uh, the... Uh, Pairing that with the uh, the bass here, which pretty much is just the same bass notes as you see here. So yeah, it's, 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 especially because this is the key that I, um, that I use quite a bit. It's the key of B minor, I believe. Let me check that very quickly. I think it is. Yeah, key of B minor, which is, um, I believe the, the equivalent is D. No. What is it? Yeah, no, it is D. My bad. But, um... So then, I forget what this is. This might be, uh... What is this? Richness? This might be the richness base that I use as well. Uh, richness and Phoenix, yeah, rich, Richness and Phoenix Rising are always paired together for some reason. I always like the way that they sound against each other. So we have this, it sort of goes up the scale, as we can see here. And the reason why it's so slow is because it has, like, it's a very slow-moving bass. It has a very, like, rich feel, which I guess makes sense because it's called Richness. But, like, it has this, like, slow, like, ease into the notes. Up. 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 And then I just pull the bass notes out from underneath. And then into the, uh, the main part of the song. Which is this glass picking sound, which I actually really liked for some reason. It's just sort of a, a random pattern that I chose. And then I think that's it for the rest of the song. No, okay, so we got the section that follows. It's, and it, hang on, I need to look at this again because it was very interesting. It sort of made no sense to me when I put it in uh, originally, but after like going back to look at the track, I thought, okay, this fits rather well.
Yeah, guys, I'm really sorry. Um, so yeah, that is um, that's pretty much Dolphin's Dance, uh, other than the ending that we got here and uh, the melody just repeating. Um, I was gonna show something off. Um, I was gonna show off a track for a recent project, but unfortunately, I am out of time, and I am on a bit of a, I am on a little bit of a, of a. Uh, hot schedule so that's pretty much that thank you all so so much for tuning into today's live stream uh but unfortunately i got to tune out so i'll catch you all later bye bye